angel fly away from here from the stark cold hotel room and the endlessness you fear you are pulled from the wreckage of your silent reverie Hello, fellow words. Welcome back to Fantasy. I'm Greg here, and today I have you. The preservation of cult and exploitation films are important. You know, after doing my uh, video, I did and reading the article about how Hollywood is facing a digital decay, and that they really just seem don't seem to care about uh, the movies and entertainment they make. You know, it's just all profit for them. And the, granted, even what I'm about to talk to is also made for profit as well too with these cult and exploitation films. But it seems like there's so much more care and love being put into cult and exploitation films and restorations and saving those movies from obscurity and from being lost forever. Whereas Hollywood is just putting these digital, these movies on digital and uh, losing the files, corrupting them. And, and they can't even tell you what they've lost because of NDA agreements. You, who knows what those early 90s, late 90s and 2000 movies that were shot on digital that maybe only got a DVD and that you've never seen on, never seen again, or have never seen on uh, streaming before uh, again, what happened to those? Those could be lost for all we know. But this is why I think companies like Vinegar Syndrome, especially, and uh, Arrow Video, and Kino Lorber, and uh, Synapse Films, and all these companies, even Shout and Scream Factory, even though I've had some issues with Shout and Scream Factory, this is why I think they are vastly important and are saving movies that are, uh, you know, it's called an exploitation of horror or, sh horror or sex comedies, you know, because those movies tend to be often overlooked and not given a lot of love. And these companies have stepped in and have started to give them a lot of love because there's some painstaking things that go into taking these, you know, finding these films. I mean, Vinegar Syndrome, for instance, you know, the Vinegar Syndrome, the smell of what happens to film when it's sit there and it's so long and that, that's where you get that smell. And just the knowing that they find these, t uh, these movies and it's still very hard to find these movies because they're still dealing with some Hollywood people stuff that don't want to give up these film rolls or stuff, or they've lost them and they're hard to find. And so they, when they find these and you get these these films and they give them these new 2K, 4K restorations and work on them, work hard on them and clean them up and preserve them. And I mean, we're seeing so many movies nowadays uh, coming to physical media. Everybody keeps saying physical media is dead. It's dying. No, it's not. We're getting so many Blu-rays and 4Ks and DVDs uh, that, of movies that I thought would be lost forever or movies that I never even knew existed because I thought they would, because people didn't know about them because they thought they were lost forever and I, I apply these companies and I, I really see that there is a love and stuff in this and I love I think we do have to support these companies and I think the preservation of cult exploitation horror films b-movies stuff like that are that is very important and I wanted to you know pull some off the shelf here guys and show you guys some of the, what I'm talking about here like something like this right here uh you know Virgin High and Hot Under the Collar sec, two sex comedies that probably never would have saw the light of day on a blu-ray uh, special releases or anything like that uh, until Culture shock releasing got a hold of it cleaned it up fixed it up and give it some loving care so you know we have stuff like that and then we also have stuff like this so speaking of shout and scream factory we have albert peon's uh sword and the sorcerer uh, on 4k i mean they painstakingly rest restored this and even in some cases it's still not it's the greatest they even tell you at the beginning that some of the sound makes a little bit of a hum and stuff but they did their best they put love into this surprisingly i know and then now we got this on 4k this is a movie i never thought would be on 4k never in a million years and then we you know we just Recently, I saw this for the first time. I mean, I've heard about it, but I had never seen it before. But the Dunwich Horror by Arrow video. I mean, this is a great restoration here. Great movie from like the 70s. It just, I just know that it's being preserved and had su such great care. I mean, this is a new 2K restoration from the original camera negative. But I'm so glad that this exists and I can own it and watch it and stuff, you know. And then, then of course, something we've talked a lot about here and which I had talked to Andre Gower about from this movie which you guys can check out the interviews here on my channel, but the Monster Squad on 4K that with a brand new 4K scan, Monster Squad. I mean, yeah, we think about it like the people that know Monster Squad, like, oh, that's Monster Squad. We've known about that for years. But to be honest with you, a lot of people still don't know about the Monster Squad. And this movie took off and took off big when Kino announced this because there is a hunger and want for this and people are finding out it for the first time or people that grew up with it are seeing it and it's on 4K and it's just something special and something special to see that. And then also little lesser known companies like Retro Media, 
putting out stuff like this, like uh, the Scream Queen Hot Tub Party. Uh, just a little short B-movie, you know, with a bunch of Scream Queens basically getting topless and everything in a, in a hot tub and telling you how to be a Scream Queen and everything. And it's just a fun little, just a fun little movie that, uh, you know, probably would have been lost at time forever if it wasn't for Fred and Olin Ray and Retro Media and uh, Jim Wynorski preserving it and stuff like that. And even we're getting stuff that, um, you know, were shot on VHS. We're getting movies that were shot on VHS that, have, that would have been lost forever if nobody would think of it. Like Visual Vengeance have been taking some really great shot on VHS movies and, uh, you know, turning them into awesome Blu-rays with really great special features. You know, this is Linnea Quigley's movie, you know, Scream Queen, that was just recently released not too long ago by Visual Vengeance, and uh, it looks it looks the best it's going to look on Blu-ray here, you know. It's a little above uh, VHS, but that's something you run a risk of when you preserve these, but this is being preserved, now it's on Blu-ray, and they have a good digital copy that I'm pretty sure that, and I'm hopeful that these companies are taking care of the digital copies that they're making after they scan the film images or the VHS or whatever, because they do they do this painstakingly and it takes them a while and they make these great digital uh, copies and you get the right uh, Blu-ray or 4K and it does look like you're spooling up the 35 millimeter print or the 16 millimeter print and stuff. And speaking of vinegar syndrome, what's, uh, you know, vinegar syndrome videos, which I've used a little bit in this video, really are inspiration to show you how they do this and why they're doing it. And it's so great. And I, movies like this, like Schizoid, Schizoid, it's, a, no, it's an early canon film. Uh, when, you know, the Canon uh, Good Film Guide or Canon Films went into, you know, uh, in the beginning, they started some horror movies there. But X-Ray, Barbie Benton, I loved Barbie Benton. She was so hot. But it's so cool to have movies like this. These are 4K. These are both 4K in here. Too, on, they're on their own separate disc. Load of special features. Movies like this probably wouldn't have got much care by Hollywood standards in any way, shape, or form. And I'm so glad that, th that they have that and uh, that they are being taken care of. And then also something like this from uh, Vinegar Syndrome. This is called Alley Cat. This is like a Death Wish revenge style uh, movie with, with a woman. And uh, it's like a, it's a weird combination of like Death Wish and women in prison movies. And yes, there's a lot of nudity in this movie and stuff. But stuff like this is like exploitation cult films that you really don't get to see a lot of nowadays made. And so, like the only real way to see movies like this that or made is like, you know, go to these companies like Vinegar Syndrome and all them that are putting them out and, uh, you know, preserving them and allowing you to buy them and keeping them as is with, you know, with some of the film grain and blips and stuff, then cleaning them up and doing the best sound restoration and stuff they can. And some, in some cases, give them ACR. Some kind, sometimes you don't get ACR, but it's great for movies like this, like this Miami Connection, this weird 80s movies, <laughs> friendship <laughs> from the 80s. Uh, just, it just, it's just amazing that we got something like this on 4K. This is 4K. Miami Connection. Seriously. Before even Nightmare on Elm Street, the original Nightmare on Elm Street that got a 4K, we got something like this. That is insane. That shows you the love and care in that and how much like Warner Brothers just doesn't care about Freddy. I mean, we're getting Nightmare on Elm Street remake. It's been announced so far before the original Nightmare on Elm Street. That is absolutely insane that we would get that on 4K. But we got something like Miami Connection on 4K before the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, but there you guys have it. I just wanted to show you guys off some of this and talk about this. Um, there's so many great films out there. For those who you think that physical media is dead or dying, is not dead or is not dying. Yes, it can be hard to, to find some of these. I will admit that because sometimes they go out, they sell out real quick, and then you get scalpers on eBay. That is one of the biggest problems. I think that's something we do need to overcome. But these companies are small, and they're doing a lot of work to preserve these movies. And uh, I think it's vastly important, especially if you're a film lover. I know in the world of uh, what's going on in the world, this stuff isn't as important as that stuff. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, when you want to come home and you want to relax and you want to watch something and take your mind off of things, uh, stuff like this that is not – studio driven message driven stuff like that uh, it's still there for you you can still buy it if you can find it it's a lot of this stuff isn't streaming and a lot of this is being preserved uh with great care and great love by a lot of these companies boutique label companies and i'm so happy that they exist and i i will continue to uh, uh you know support them and buy what i want because i buy what i want you know i buy what i like and uh i'm so happy to have these but that's what i just wanted to do this video especially after reading about how Hollywood is just letting the digital decay happen and aren't supporting uh, or taking care of their movies. But these companies here are doing great. They have the, they're cleaning up the film. They're restoring them. They're keeping the film as well as a backup copy after they make their digital copy and stuff for the disc and everything. So they still have all that and they're still taking care of them. And it does cost a lot of money and it does, and it's hard to get, it takes years and, and a lot of work to get these out there. Uh, so I, I, I don't get as mad as I once was. I'm eternally grateful for these. And, uh, 
So yeah, support uh, film restoration of cult and exploitation films. It's vastly important. Let me know what you guys thought about this video and this subject in the comments down below. What are some of your uh, favorite, you know, boutique label uh, uh, cult film, exploitation, horror, comedy, sex comedy films that you've gotten that you really like and are so happy to have that you never thought would see the light of day? Please leave all that in the comment section down below. And if you like what you saw here, maybe consider hitting that like button or subscribing and hitting that bell for notification. That would be awesome if I earned your guys a subscription or possibly share the video out for everybody to see. Or join and become a channel member because that would help my channel immensely thank you and shout out to all my channel members i appreciate each and every one of you guys thank you guys for all your support being channel members here and to everybody watching wherever you are please have a great safe happy day morning afternoon evening and night always support physical media it truly is the superior format godspeed